You ever stare at something so long that it changes before your very eyes? Every detail that was masked in unison now starts to unveil itself one by one. You can't even see the whole picture anymore now. All you can focus on are the little things, the blemishes, the beauty. The object is not one thing, it's now a collective. If I took away one piece, would anybody notice? Would they care? At what point do I have to stop taking away until you can't identify it anymore? Until we both have nothing left to stare at? God. Drew. Well, long time no see. I wasn't sure that you would actually show up, but look at you standing here. Nice to see you too. Well, don't be rude, Drew. Aren't you going to introduce your friend? I'm not rude. This is my new girlfriend, Kate. Wow. Isn't this lovely? Mm -hmm. Drew, you know where to go, right? Drew. Yo, Drew. Drew, what's up, man? When you fill out a job application, what's the number one question they always ask? What? Oh, my name. Besides that. My work experience. Besides that. Are we going to go through the fucking question? Criminal background. OK. So? So, listen. They always ask about it. Now, it doesn't matter how old the crime is. If you're a criminal, you're a criminal. You could have repented for your sins, picked up the trash on the highway as a way to repay back your debt to society. But you're a criminal. What does that have to do with... Wait, let me finish. So if I murdered somebody, I'm always a murderer, correct? Even if by accident, if I killed somebody, I'm always a murderer. I guess. That's why I can't get married. What the fuck does this have to do with marriage? Everything. Look, I'm not for double standards, but how many old women are walking around now that used to sleep around with every guy, huh? A lot. Now they want to get married. They may not be having sex like they used to, but I don't want a woman like that. Until the day an ex-con can apply for a job and not be questioned about his past, I refuse to play this little game society has set up. You sleep around. All the time. As a matter of yeah. fact, I'm pretty sure you slept with a yeah. few women at this party. Yeah, but so I'm a guy. You speechless. <laughs> Can you believe this? I heard that this pregnancy isn't even an accident. You know you're getting old when people you know are actually making plans to have babies, and we congratulate them without feeling awkward. It's none of that old. So you guys are keeping it? Cool. Who's that girl you brought with you? Oh, she's from a, a call agency. It's... You brought a prostitute to your ex-girlfriend's baby shower? She's not a prostitute. She's a call girl. There's a difference. Not really. <laughs> Glad you can make it. Hey, Drew. Glad you can make it out, man. Hey, you've been working out, huh? <laughs> no, not even slightly. Drew. This 
really means a lot to me. I know, um, I know we have a history, but we can still be friends. We can still be friends? Of course. Of course. <laughs> Who knew you were so fertile? I really dodged a bullet there. Whatever. Attention, everybody. Now, I wanted to thank you all for coming out and supporting this celebration for the woman I love more than anything in the world and for us welcoming a new member into our family. Now, before we continue this celebration, I wanted to send a shout out to somebody. Now, Drew, now I know this must be difficult for you and all, given that you and Allison used to be together, but we're happy you're here, man, to support this. Thank you. I understand you're checking on that now. Just saying, fuck it, and throwing everything to the wind and giving up because this shit is hard. No. No. Look at this guy. I'm too sensitive. I'm too sensitive. That's what she, she would say. I guess that's why I have to, after, after five years, I have nothing. But after one year with you, the fuck are you smiling? What's so bad about me? What the fuck is so bad about me? Get the fuck out of here! Just go! Hey! You are pathetic! Get out before I call the cops! Go! Would you like to come upstairs? 
You want me to come upstairs? Even after Don't all. Don't make this complicated. Just come up. Would you like a drink? Oh, I... I shouldn't drink anymore. I... I have to drive home and... And I think I've had enough. Be a man. Stop overthinking things. Maybe I want you to drink for a reason. Okay. Um, do you have any whiskey? Be right back. Take a seat. Sure thing. Good morning. Good morning. Can I have some water, please? I'm a little thirsty. Sure. Be right back. Glass of water, here you go. Why do I feel like we've done this before? You say this all the time. All the time? Here, take the water. Can you tell me in detail any memory before Allison left you? I mean, really vividly remember anything. Yeah, I. Um. You go through this every time. You go to her baby shower. You act a fool. You come here and have sex with me and lie in the exact same spot, holding a glass, just like that. Your friend is calling. Don't answer. He's just going to ask about me. This, this isn't real. real. Let it go. Let what go? What the fuck? Please. 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 No. I can do better. I can listen more. I can be who you want me to be. I can. Do you know what it's like being with you? If I stay with you any longer, it means, it means I don't care about myself. You ever stare at something so long that it changes before your very eyes? Every detail that was 